there's that passion of when I can see, like it hits them, or they realize, I never thought of that. I had right. no idea how mm -hmm. my appearance, and I'm talking behaviors, right? How that really does impact the reputation you create. And the, the good news is you get to choose that. You get to choose that every day, how people respond to you. I talk a lot about self-awareness, that we truly believe how we feel is how people perceive us. And that's not true. You know, just because you feel good doesn't mean people think you're good. Mm -hmm. and that's where I really, that the our promise, the 90-minute promise, whatever that length of time is, I always promise to individuals, I won't make you more influential. I can't do that. What I can do is I'm going to make you more aware. That you walk out of here and you're aware of what's working, what's not working. So I wrote a book, if you're not familiar with it, and I sent it. Influence <clears throat> Redefined was written, but it was published last February, and it took me three years to write it. And I took the time because I researched and I researched and I interviewed executives. And then I would go out and I would test it on the stage. Didn't work. I'd go back and rewrite. Test it. Didn't work. I mean, that was like a long process. So in Influence Redefined, I talk about how in our day and age, we live in a world of noise. And I think that's half the problem is there's so much noise that the way you've communicated before, it's not good enough. Your emails have to pop. You have to pop. You have to do something that's going to be memorable to stand out from the noise.